the end of an era for Penn State football. Family and friends gathering for a final farewell to the longtime voice of Penn State, Fran Fisher. Aaron Calandra has that story. A few tears and a lot of laughter, just how Fran would have wanted it as friends, family, and Penn Staters gathered to say goodbye to the legendary Penn State football broadcaster and the end of an era. Three, two, one, Penn State This is the voice of Penn State. Fran Fisher broadcasting the university's first national championship in 1980, an incredible time for Penn State football. The clip was played during his funeral Tuesday afternoon at the State College Presbyterian Church as friends and family gather to remember a man who helped change the football program forever. There was a group of men that really took Penn State from, from built this place from scratch, and he was certainly one of them. His first Penn State broadcast was in 19. 66 and continued for more than three decades. And as Jay Paterno said while speaking during the service, from Pennsylvania farms to factories across the nation, even overseas, Fran's voice on the radio brought Penn Staters together from around the world during a time when it was rare to see a college game on TV. Close family friend Tim Curley spoke in attendance to name a few, Sue Paterno, Franco Harris, and the current voice of Penn State, Steve Jones. His sons Jeff and Jerry say for them, Fran was just dad, but for Happy Valley and beyond, he was much more. And I think the people appreciate who he was and what he did for Penn State and for this entire community. Fran Fisher was 91 years old. Fran will be buried next to his beloved wife of more than 60 years at the Westmoreland County Memorial Park. In State College, Erin Calandra, 6 News.